this is my first time filming in a new location my room isn't all the way done yet but i still wanted to film anyway because i'm trying to be as productive as possible okay cue the intro everything and you know my mind Brooklyn and I'm back once again with another YouTube video. So as y'all can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about dealing with heartbreak as a Christian. I have definitely experienced some seasons of heartbreak, especially these past few months, but I'm still here by the grace of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay. I really hope this blesses and encourages you. Brooklyn, come on. You can, you know your words. I pray that this blesses and encourages you guys. It definitely blessed me. And so I want to share you. Bro, my, my ring broke. Are you serious? You know what? I'm not going to let the enemy win today. It definitely blessed me and so I definitely wanted to bless y'all. For those of you guys that are new, hi, my name is Brooklyn and I post faith related content as well as just generic teenager related content that people love and just showing you guys my life and what I do in my life. For those of y'all who are not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and turn on those post notifications. That way you guys will not miss out on any uploads. Also, do not forget to follow me on my socials which are up here and down below at as usual. So without further ado, let's get on started. Ay, ay, get on started. Ay, ay. <laughs> All right. So I already know I have my notes. For those of y'all who are new, I stay having my notes with me because it is very easy to get sidetracked for me and to go off on tangents. So in case that happens, I have notes so that I can stick to the script. All right, let's get into it. So the main scripture that I want to focus on today is Psalm 34, 18. This scripture I actually learned about three years ago and it really did bless me. And I definitely use it to encourage other people who may be going through some hard times. I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version, literally my go-to version. I love that version so much. Psalm 34, verse 18 says, The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit. So the first point that I have is Christians aren't exempt from experiencing heartbreak. I feel like sometimes when we develop a relationship with Christ or when we first accept him in our lives, we think, oh, psh, nothing bad is going to happen to me. Like everything is going to be peaches and cream all day, every day. Um, that is not the case. As Christians, you know, we go through a lot and sometimes we do experience heartbreak. Even Jesus experienced some sort of heartbreak when he was on earth. It is good to know that Jesus has went through some of the things that we might go through. It shows that if Jesus went through it, that means he can relate to me and he can understand what I'm dealing with. He can help me. And that is exactly what the word of God is for. The second point that I have for y'all is don't ever feel like God doesn't care. Do not fall into that lie. And I say that for myself too, because between the end of 2021 and a little bit merging into the beginning of 2022, I was dealing with some things of my own. It was rough. It really was. And I sort of felt like God was just watching me suffer and he just wasn't helping me. And I just felt like he didn't care. I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I genuinely felt like he didn't care about me. And so that kind of put me in a deeper pit because I believed the lie that he didn't care about me and that he was just watching me suffer. He wanted me to deteriorate and he wanted me to be depressed, but that is a lie. And even in the moments that we can't feel God or tell if he's there or not, he is. Let's believe that when we call on him, he will come to help us. I just want to encourage anybody who feels like God doesn't care about them because they're struggling. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Remind yourself that, okay, I'm dealing with this, but God is still with me. I'm going to continue continue to try and pray to him, tell him about my troubles, talk to him about these things, and I'm going to pray and have faith that he'll help me. He will turn things around, and I am a living witness to that. The third point that I have for y'all is it's not going to last forever. It doesn't last forever. There's a scripture that I also attach to this. It's Psalm 30 verse 5, and it says, for his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And I want to highlight more on the second half of the 
universe because I know that when we deal with heartbreak, whether it's relationships, whether it's betrayal, whether it's losing a friendship, whatever it could be, sometimes, you know, we feel that hurt and we feel that pain and we feel like our lives are over. And this verse is saying that we may endure for a night and it may not be one night. It may be several nights, but guess what? There's always gonna be joy in the morning. There's always gonna be that light at the end of the tunnel. God will turn things around for you. Like I'm gonna share a little bit of my testimony. So I was dealing with a lot mentally and I was in a very bad spot. My mother, she prayed with me. I was just crying to her and telling her like, I can't do this anymore. And she prayed for me and asked God to turn things around for me and to help me. And literally the week after that, my week was so good. Like I had such a good week. I was mad productive. I was literally getting so much done. For the most part, I had more joy. I felt a little more peaceful. I was trying to pray more often. I always woke up and thanked God for another day, which is something I highly suggest y'all do. Trying to read my word, listen to the word in the morning. I would go on YouTube on my TV and play like motivational Christian related videos to really me hear the word in the morning or I'll watch um, some of Kiera Sheard's videos because she is an amazing speaker as well. I'm telling you that makes a difference. I really started to take care of myself more, you know, dress up a little bit, get a little dolled up, put some lashes on, do my eyebrows, do my hair. Like it's the little things that really make a difference. And so God really turned things around for me. And, and I was just so grateful because I was at such a low point. Yeah, that was just my testimony. And that goes to show you that God really does hear your prayers and he is watching. Even when you feel like he's not there, God sees you and he knows your needs. I just hope that encourages somebody because I know some people are, you know, dealing with stuff. You might feel like it'll never end. God is still sustaining you. He's sustaining all of us. Like Dorinda Clark Cole said, I am still here and it's by the grace of God. I say all that to say there is light at the end of the tunnel and God can turn things around for you. We've been made endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. The fourth point that I have for y'all is heartbreak can be a part of your testimony and God's plan for your life. I know that sometimes when people hear that, it kind of well, sort of like unsettles them because they're like, wait, so you mean to tell me that God is making me fail and be depressed on purpose? No, that's not what I'm trying to say. You know, the Bible verse that talked about how as Christians, we have to stay on the narrow path and that the narrow path isn't always the easiest path. The Christian walk is not easy. Or I think it was in my um, How to Get Closer to God video. One of the points that I said was don't go into Christianity or don't go into your walk with God thinking that it's going to be easy. You're going to be upset and you're going to be disappointed when you realize it's far from easy. You're going to have so many stumbles and roadblocks along the way, but you just have God who is carrying you through these things. And sometimes heartbreak and bad times can teach us lessons. I recently had, you know, a season of heartbreak. I really felt like in the midst of that heartbreak, I felt a sense of God trying to teach me something. I felt like there was something that was coming out of it, even though I was in a very low place and I felt like things were just downright terrible for me. I honestly feel like God is trying to show me something or teach me something. And I saw a post either, I think it was on Pinterest. It was a post that had said, instead of saying, God, why is this happening to me? Ask yourself, God, what is this teaching me? Sometimes we go through things and we're like, oh my God, why is this happening to me? Oh my gosh, like, why is this happening to me? But instead, we really have to look at our situation and be like, okay, what could God potentially be teaching me in this moment? Am I saying that that's your initial reaction to your problems and to your heartbreak? No, because as humans, you're gonna feel that pain initially. You're gonna feel hurt and you're gonna feel down. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like later down the line, you can kind of ask yourself, what could God be potentially teaching me in this moment? The greatest trials in our life can produce valuable lessons. The fifth point that I have is trust that God knows what he's doing in the midst of your heartbreak. Again, I will be the first to admit that sometimes when I'm dealing with things, I'm just like, God, what, what are, what are you doing? like god can you explain this to me because i don't i don't know what i don't know what this is but god may not give us an explanation right away sometimes he shows us throughout the trials like he'll show us why he took us through these things versus giving you an answer right away you know that goes back to proverbs 3 5 6 that tells us to trust in the lord with all of our heart and lean not on our own understanding if we already knew the reason the plan the purpose as to why we go through these things already like if we already knew everything why would we need to trust god we wouldn't need god anymore therefore 
before, we must trust God. It takes so much faith to trust in God. And honestly feel like that's one lesson God could potentially be teaching me right now too, because I'm about to be 18, I'm about to go to college and you gotta trust God for that. These things you gotta put in God's hands with anything. And that's why God wants to be involved in our lives. We have to lean on God and we have to trust in God and we can't always trust in what we understand or what we see. There's purpose in our pain. I know it's so cliche, but it's true. Out of your pain, it can birth something beautiful. The sixth point that I have is surround yourself with people who can speak life into you. I cannot stress this enough. One thing that I really learned to be grateful for was having people in my circle who I can talk to, enjoy myself around. I highly suggest that you have, you know, some of your friends that are believers because it's very important that you are watching who you surround yourself with, especially as believers in Christ. You know, you can't just be associating yourself with just anyone. I'm not saying that sound arrogant or anything, but the Bible does say that evil company corrupts good morals. So you gotta be careful. Definitely having that circle, having that community where you can really talk about your problems without fear of being judged, allowing yourself to be vulnerable and to hear other people's troubles too. So that way y'all can pray and come together because when two or three are gathered, let the whole thing down, okay? But <laughs> it's so good to have people you can pray with, talk with, laugh with, cry with. You gotta make sure that you have good people in your circle. The seventh point that I have is pray and talk to God about your struggles. Another thing I want to add on is don't ever believe the lie that God is tired of hearing your prayers. Even if it's about the same thing, like the fact that you're bringing it to God, God is honoring you for that. I saw another post where it was like, if you have time to worry or if you have time to harp on these certain things, you have time to pray. So if you can worry, if you can sit in those thoughts and think about those thoughts instead of taking them up to God, you can take them up to God. Even if it's not worded correctly or even if you can't even get a word out, God knows what you're saying. I know you hear so many people say this, but tears are a form of prayer. And like, sometimes I'm gonna be so honest. Sometimes I cannot get the words out. I just sit and just cry because that's all I can just do. And God understands that. And he knows what you're saying in your heart. See, once you begin to hold on to these things and you're just suppressing them and you're not releasing it up to God, that causes more harm and damage to yourself. And the Bible does say the truth will make you free. All you got to do is just confess and admit these things to God, you know, tell him, you know, I'm feeling very hurt. My heart is broken. I just went through a very tough loss with this year or I went through a very tough time. This didn't work out, that didn't work out. And I feel broken, I feel tired, I feel sad, I feel depressed. Like tell God how you're feeling. He's not afraid of it, that you're questioning or you have so many questions you don't know the answers to and he can handle it. People may not be able to handle it, but God can certainly handle it. So the eighth point that I have for y'all is let yourself feel, but don't allow these feelings to completely overtake you. What I mean by that is that I was watching a sermon by T.D. Jakes one day and he was saying, and I'm paraphrasing because I cannot remember verbatim what he said, but basically he was talking about how God gave us the ability to feel. However, we can't allow our feelings to overtake us. I am a firm believer that it's okay to cry. It is okay to let it out. It's okay to feel these emotions emotions but don't allow yourself to sit in these emotions. I have a habit where if I'm feeling sad I am comfortable with being sad if that makes sense like I feel sad but like I allow myself to dig myself in a very depressive hole and it's hard to get out and so now when you have people who try to encourage you or uplift you it's hard to hold on to these things and believe in these things because you're so comfortable with being sad and you can't get out of that. Once you feel them submit them to God and be like God I feel sad but you know what I pray that you will give me peace and joy. He will provide him for you because we're his children. And if we ask the Lord for something, he will give it to us if we have faith. The ninth point that I have for y'all is no matter what your situation is, you are still valued. And I know that especially with friendships or relationships and dealing with heartbreak or when things don't work out, it can be very easy to question yourself and ask yourself, was there something I could have done better? Was it because I didn't do this? Was it because I didn't look like that? And sometimes we can fall into to the trap of questioning our self-worth and feeling like am I even worth being loved or worth being valued and I'm here
here to tell you that you are, you are so loved and you are so valued. Don't let one situation be the end all be all for your worth because that's not true. Yeah, maybe this didn't work out at some point, but God has so much in store for you. You are still loved, you are still valued, not only by me, but by God, like especially God. Even if other people can't see your value, God sees your value. And the 10th and final point that I have for y'all today is you will be okay. It may not seem like it'll be okay, but girl or boy, whoever's watching this video, you will be okay. Literally, like I said before, I told y'all my testimony, God can literally turn things around for you. He can do it. I've seen him do it before. And so I am a living witness. There were so many times, so many times where I was like, God, I don't even know if I could do this anymore. What is going on? Why am I going through this? I feel like this is never going to end. I feel like this is just a perpetual nightmare. But when that scripture says, cast your cares upon him because he cares about you. The Bible meant what it was saying. God really shows that he cares about you. He is there to help you. He, he is upholding you with his righteous right hand. The fact that you're still here shows that you still have purpose. The fact that you are still living and breathing shows that God is not done with you yet. You will get through this. You can do this. And with God, everything will be okay in Jesus name. So before I end this video off, y'all already know the drill. I'm going to say a very quick prayer for you guys. Y'all already know I love to end my bible studies off with a prayer so bow your heads and close your eyes dear heavenly father first and foremost i want to say thank you for allowing me to have this platform to share your word thank you for allowing me to get through this video i pray that you will bless those who are watching it father god i pray on behalf of those who are dealing with heartbreak whether it be in relationships familial relationships friendships whatever it could be i just pray that you will keep that person right now in jesus name father god i pray that you will soothe their broken hearts help them to see the light at the end of the tunnel help them to know that through you they will be okay they will live and not die they will get through this because weeping may endure for a night but joy will come in the morning god i pray for that person who feels like their worth is diminished or they don't have a purpose in this world because of a bad situation that happened to them we rebuke that and i cast that down in the name of jesus they do have value they have purpose because they are still living they are still breathing and so that goes to show them that you are not done with them yet and i pray and thank you for each and every individual that is watching and that you will bless and keep them in jesus mighty name amen so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video like i said do not forget to hit that subscribe button i pray that this video blessed and encouraged you guys just as much as it encouraged me don't forget to follow me on my socials which are up here and down below as usual also comment down below some video ideas that you guys would like to see and i will do my best to make it happen god bless you guys i love y'all so much and i will see you next time Mwah, bye